So, hey guys, today we are talking about exchange, and also we're going to ta be taking a look as well at, uh, let's see, where is it? Da -da -da -da. Uh, drag down into the grave. So, as we all know, uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh, hand knowledge is completely stupid, because if we know our opponent's in essentially entire hand, we know pretty much if you, well, if you're a good player at least, you should be able to know exactly what your opponent can do, will do, and want to do, and therefore you can stop all of it. And with a card like um, a Pointer of the Red Lotus or Smoke Grenade, we can get like full hand knowledge, and then also while we're, we're at it, we can rip one of our opponent's uh, cards just straight out of their hand, and we'll probably remove the, the vital one that we might not be able to deal with. And we also get full hand knowledge, making the game pretty unplayable. So, pre pretty much it's a GG situation. Notably with a pointer, a pointer had a funny interaction, if you would call it funny, called if your opponent has either a Dispatcher or a Kajdura Arise Heart, they can move the banished card that was banished from your hand and uh, honestly it probably doesn't matter that much but uh, that card will not in fact be returned to your hand during your opponent's next end phase it will be shuffled back or attached to a rise heart assuming you attempt to activate any effects against like this better if you activate any monster effects that that, that thing is hello just gone and you're, you're probably dead by the time it's your opponent's uh, next end phase so GG, I guess. But, uh, alright. So, a lot of these cards are no, no longer uh, legal, so cards like, um, Smoke Grenade, A Pointer of the Red Lotus, um, th those cards, uh, all of them are, uh, banned, so we also have, of course, uh, Trap Dust Shoot, um, Delinquent Duo, all of those cards, just banned. Not playable. And they're pretty broken. So in this same way, we can kind of abuse exchange as well. Exchange probably going to be fine to use, honestly. But th these cards all have something in common called not being good going second. So in Master Duel, honestly, all strategies like this just feel kind of like just lame and not that competitively good. But uh, we'll, we'll go through them anyway. So with Drake down into the grave, both players reveal their hands, each chooses one card from their opponent's hand. Then you discard the chosen cards from both players' hand. Then both players draw one card. So the draw, you won't know, but all the other cards you will know. And the odds of your opponent drawing something crazy off of just one card, no, not that insane. The primary issue with cards like Drake down into the grave or exchange is that um, your cards in your hand. You need a specific amount to be able to resolve these cards at all. So, for me to resolve drag down into the grave, I need drag down plus one other card. Same with exchange. So that means, well, we can look at this as a plus side or a downside depending on how your your perspective is. But essentially, here we're going to um, have three cards that we can do whatever we want with, and then two cards we need to save for either exchange or drag down into the grave. So one way that you could use, we'll go with drag down into the grave is, let's assume I am playing uh, Dark Worlds, and I also have like cards like, I don't know, card destruction and whatnot. And we have cards like Cerulee, Silva. If uh, my hand consists of, I don't know, let's say, Brow plus, Rainbow, and then we activate Drake down into the grave, and uh, these are the only two cards in my hand. My opponent is forced to pick one, right? So it's not really ever super detrimental to us, but we'll go uh, ahead and focus more on exchange rather than Drake down into the grave, because Drake down is probably objectively worse for um, what we want to be using these cards for anyway. So Ooh. goodbye to Drake down into the grave. So the thing with uh, drag down is that th th this pluses your opponent more. Well, it it does that. 
and exchange does not. So drag down. Uh, also, um, since this uh, requires you to play drag down into the grave, so let's assume my opponent has Cyframe Driver in their hand, just five copies of Cyframe Driver, and they will draw into Cyframe Driver. Every card in this case is completely a uh, useless Garnet, but uh, okay, no effects. So we're going to activate Drake Den into the grave. We'll discard one of our cards, and uh, it, it might plus us, it might not, but let's assume we have Cyframe Driver in this case. So then we discard Driver, draw Driver. So now we, we just essentially just lose Drake Den into the grave for hand knowledge, and our opponent gets uh, to draw one, and we can discard one of their drivers. So our opponent, uh, the amount of cards they have, that doesn't change, but our uh, cards, it, we, we just went neg one off of drag down into the grave and this is like essentially how it works in terms of uh card advantage you have in hand right we, we just go neg one if that makes sense if we do exchange we also go neg one but the difference is here we can take one of the cards and give them like a card that's probably no longer relevant so let's assume we have maybe ash blossom joe spring or we have like Maxi literally could be anything, doesn't super matter. Uh, our opponent, we, we can essentially force them to take the card or discard a card with how exchange or uh, uh, drag down into the grave work. But with exchange, this is more valuable because we can do this at the end of the turn. So at the end of the turn, we can give our opponent just uh, Ash Blossom Just Ring, for example, Maxi doesn't matter. But the idea behind this is simply we aren't going to be summoning or adding any cards from our deck to our hand, and we can take away a important starter or board breaker from our opponent right before we end our turn, which is valuable, and we get the hand knowledge, which is potentially game ending. So just for example, if I were playing, I don't know, let's say Blackwing, I actually have a lot of worthless cards that I can force on you, assuming I open like mostly engine, so. Uh, we can set any spell traps we don't really care about, and we can give our opponent, I don't know, something like Bla Blackwing Gale, the Whirlwind, or perhaps Sudri, the Phantom Glimmer, Blackwing Vata, the Emblem of Wandering, and these cards are all useless if you are not playing Blackwing exactly. And thoughts of our opponent also being on Blackwing, doubtful, but that, that's one way we could do this. Uh, in that sense, I guess, if we were to be using a soul day, we could set, like, our other irrelevant cards, and then give our opponent a card we added off of a soul day that we don't really care about, that's probably fairly useless. So, we, we could do that, as, uh, well. And our opponent would just have to take that card and lose, uh, any surprise factor or chance of outplaying us, because we just know the entirety of their hand so uh, one example of a well another example of a deck that might be able to kind of cook someone with exchange uh, aside from like blackwing i guess we could do like uh, another archetypal deck so it's pretty much like an archetype heavy deck that um that just is kind of not able to play with other engines i, I think these can probably abuse exchange the best so DD, Th these cards are all like just super useless if uh, our opponent is not also on DD, right? So this also works. But uh, enough with this, I, I guess. So uh, the the other thing that might be noticeable is that uh, if our opponent tries to drop like certain hand traps or we cannot no longer play, we can also just activate exchange and take their starter in the same way. The only downside to this is if we have a hand trap that we would want to use the next turn, our opponent can just take that hand trap so they don't have to uh, deal with the hand trap and we also have to deal with the hand trap on our uh, following turn. So that's like a downside of exchange right there, but for the most part exchange is not that bad. Going first. Specifically going first, th this card seems like pr pretty good just in general. Okay, so now what if we are uh, going second? So, if we are going second, oh. 
that, that's not going to be a great time, is it? So, going second with exchange. Our, our opponent could have absolutely no cards in hand, or they, they might have just a hand trap, and we, we can get rid of a hand trap, right? But also, depending on uh, when we activate exchange, our, our, our opponent can just take one of our starters, and we can yoink one of their hand, hand traps, which doesn't really do much for us, so... That, that is not great, but the, the fact that it is usable going first, it surely means something. Is it a good something? A bad something? Couldn't tell you. At this point, might as well just play triple tactics uh, and then just uh, rip our opponent's hand for hand knowledge instead. You know? J just drop the talents and then do a little bit of hand ripping. That That's probably going to be a little bit better so that, that'll probably be a, a way better play honestly than just trying to resolve exchange but i mean if it comes up it does in fact come up right where there's some situations with your hands that uh, exchange would have been great for as like one of your last cards so just for example let's go into one of my decks here Let's take a look. So Vanquish Soul, we absolutely do not want to play Exchange. Like, that. that's just not going to be a thing. Uh, with Kishdira, like, I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean... If I get to combo, Exchange isn't that bad. Like, even if I give you, like, a Unicorn... Or Ryzar, I guess, or potentially Ogre. Well, l let's do a test hand real quick. See what we get. Oh yeah, we can exchange here for, like, just whatever, it doesn't really matter. So, we probably can, we can just set the macro, set the imperm, set the deck lockdown, and then I assume all these last two cards are exchange. We can just exchange, it doesn't matter. Ash Blossom doesn't do anything, because we, we're already under, going to be under lockdown. If our opponent is playing Driver, uh, they can't summon Gamma unless Driver is in hand, so that, that works. Here, we can... Do the same kind of thing, our opponent can have Ash Blossom Joe Spring, just do whatever you want with that card, you know? Uh, deck Lockdown's gonna be active, so that, that's cool. And then here, uh, you can take Scareclaw Cash or Kishira Rice, or have fun with those, and then I'll just take your starter. Or your, uh, well, you're out to, like, a Rice Heart, so that, 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 that's an okay deck to use it in, I guess. With, um, they're in punk. Yeah, I, I don't think there's too much of an issue in giving you some, some of my cards, right? Depends on the exact one, right? But, uh, let's see. With this hand, we, we could give Ash Blossom Joe Spring. We can give Dear Now. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, with this hand, we, we can give you Theory on Cross if I'm feeling it. Uh, Infinite Impermanence, I don't really want to give you. Uh, this Ogre Dance is probably not going to be an Ogre Dance for long, but we'll, I think we get to draw. We, we can give our opponent Emergency Teleport worth Theory on Irregular here. What were you going to do with that, right? Uh, if we have, like, Orkist. Oh, this is actually pretty disgusting. If we give our opponent, like, a Harp Horror, but what, what are you going to do with Harp Horror? If you ever discard this for cost, it's in the graveyard for me to activate. Uh, yeah, that, that seems pretty good. Might try exchange in some kind of Orcus build then. Kind of force an Orcus onto my opponent. I think trying that is not that bad. So, uh, yeah. Uh, essentially, exchange, pretty playable right now. And, uh, yeah, I don't see why not, honestly. Is it, like, the best card in the world? No, but it's for sure playable if you guys want to try it. I mean, it is, uh, a card in, I believe, the uh, Legacy. Yeah, it's a Legacy card because I can't dismantle it. So, yeah. If you have a couple of copies, might as well give it a shot, spice things up a little. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.